yes, I am back to finally do a video. And this video is basically going to be about my summer routine or my summer favorites, what I love to use during the summer. Because what I use during the fall, the winter, and even the spring is a lot different from the summer. Now, um, I'm from Alabama, so it's very hot here. It can be humid some days. It's just hot outside. And, um, of course, if it's hot outside, I don't want to put on a whole lot of makeup on my face. Some days I even go out without any makeup. I just um, put on a moisturizer or a tinted moisturizer and I'm out the door. Of course, I do my eyebrows, but that's about it. Um, because it's just so hot here, whatever you put on your face is going to melt off in the hot sun. So I'm just here to show, um, share with you some of my summer favorite things or my routines for the summer, okay? Starting off with, of course, makeup. Um, I do not wear the MAC powder. I do not wear the Clinique powder except on Sundays when I know I'm going to be inside because of church and I want to dress up a little bit. But that's it. Um, I'm not even wearing the Clinique powder through the week. What I'm doing through the week is, of course, I wash my face, I moisturize my face, and I put on just a little bit. I mean, quick, of quick. I take the brush, I go through like this, this, mm, mm, done, of the L'Oreal True Match Powder. And this is a warm one, and it is in W7. It's a caramel beige. Looks like that. And I quickly put this on my face. I don't cake it on, and I'm only putting it on once during the day in the morning. So, like I said, I buff this over my face. After I've put that over my face, I just take my... MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and this is in dark. Um, I can wear a step below this, but I choose to wear the dark in the summertime because I might get a tan or um, for the bronzing effect. So I put this on top of this. And sometimes I wear this by itself, sometimes I wear this by itself. But normally I put just quick over my face, and then I take this and quickly go over it to... You know, whatever. It just looks, I like the way these two look together. If not, I'm either wearing this or this. And if I have dark spots, I don't have any to, um, now, I do do it underneath my eyes. I put on, of course, my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer just to conceal under my eyes. Now, if I get a blemish or something during the summer, um, I'll cover that, but I don't have any right now. So, um, I just use this under my eyes right now. Okay, so that's all. That is what I put on my face. Now, if I'm going and I want to look bronzer, like bronzier, or is that a really even a word? But if I want to look more bronzed, I will use my Lorac. And this is in Glow. And I've shared this before with it on a video. I'll put this on. This has hardly been touched <laughs> since I bought it. But if I want that bronzing effect, I'll put a little bit of this in my tea area which is the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, right here, and a little bit on my chin, okay? So that's what I do. That is my routine for the summer as far as, like, powders. Um, like I said, I don't even like using the MAC. On Sunday, I just use it because I really want to um, dress up a little bit, but I try to stay away from those powder foundations or liquid foundations, which you know I don't use. Even the Dream Matte Mousse, I'm not using that through the summer. I love this, though. The natural skin finish, you can wear this by itself. I just choose to pair it, okay? Now, um, blushes. Of course, I'm going to wear my blushes, but there are particular ones that I like to do or to wear. Um, I like peaches in the summer. Copper tone, which has been in my trunk for a while. Peach twist. And even the NYX Cinnamon. It's an orange blush. Blush. I like to wear this during the summer. Um, I like to keep it light, keep it fresh, that sort of thing. In the summer, I'm not carrying around powder all day if I get um, oily. I produce oil during the day, and it hasn't been bothering me because I like the way it looks when it comes through my skin. It's not like I look like an oil painting or something like that. I just like the way it kind of... I can't even explain it, how it makes my skin look. But if I feel like my skin is getting a little bit too oily, the Hard Candy Mattifying Powder is the bomb. 
this is all you need if during the day your skin gets oily you don't need to be caking on powder because it's gonna cause your face to look a mess that's my opinion you know I'm not carrying around these two all day once I put them on in the morning I'm done with them I'm not gonna be caking them on every time I see some oil come up on my skin but I will put this on because it leaves nothing it just basically dries the oil to me it looks like it leaves your um, powder intact it doesn't make your skin white it doesn't cake it just simply erases the oil and that is if you cannot find a primer that can eliminate oil I have tried all sorts of primers in the summer I have tried Smashbox um, everything from the drugstore uh, even my L'Oreal Studio Secrets, I can't use that. I have been on YouTube, and they have told me to use this. Okay? Yes, this is Philips Milk of Magnesia, which is for stomach problems. But there are a lot of women on YouTube that use this as a primer. And they only put it where they're oily, like in their T-zone. And they only put a little bit on. I will be trying this tomorrow for the very first time. It's brand new, as you can see, to see if this kind of helps eliminate this product for me. I'll let you guys know. I will do a review on this um, if I like it. So, you know, look that up too on YouTube if you think I'm crazy. Um, people are using Philip Milk of Magnesia, the original formula, as a primer. Um, I, one woman said on YouTube, it's actually what this does it goes into your stomach if you're using it like it's supposed to it goes into your stomach and it kind of dries up all of greasy fatty any type of stuff that's making your stomach hurt and it does the same thing for the face it's going to dry up that oil and get rid of it so we're going to try that so that's my um powder and concealer blush thing in the summer i love to use lip glosses i don't like to fool around with um with um lipsticks i will wear it if it hits me but i love lip glosses in the summer the one i have on today is nyx shangri-la this is the bum i love this um it's like a rose pink kind of tan i don't know it's really pretty i love this for the summer um of course clears any type of clear Gloss is going to stay on my skin. Now, I will say about this, I would suggest you use like a moisturizing lip balm because when if your lips are cracking or dry, it's not going to go on good. So what I like to use is this, new, and I bought this from CVS with the big CVS annual or semi-annual sale. These two um, Essence of Beauty lip frostings. Um, this is in vanilla cupcake and this is in strawberry cheesecake. I like to put one of these under this. It goes on beautifully. I love it. So I pair these two together. But this is a these two are really, really good lip moisturizers. They taste good and they last. They last for um I put mine on at like noon. Um they, they last a while. So um I would definitely recommend these two essence of beauty. They're new. They might not be in your CVS yet, or they probably are. But um, they're really good. They can be as like a base too for lipsticks, lip glosses, whatever. Okay, so I like to base this. If I'm going to put this on, I like to put a moisturizer on before I put this on. Of course, um, the clear one that I'm using is actually a wet and wild one. It's called Glassy Gloss Lip Gel. Love this stuff. Um, it's really good. It's really, really good. It's sticky. Not sticky, but... It's gonna, it stays on your lips, okay? Some more favorites of mine is the um, Rimmel London Cookie Lip Gloss. Love this. I just, on the CVS sale, I just bought this Revlon, I think it's called Just Bitten. It's a new product by, to me, it's a new product. It looks like this. It has like a balm on the side and then a lip stain. So I bought this because I thought the color was beautiful. So, I'm going to definitely be trying this out. Some more favorites that I've been had in my collection is the Maybelline. I'm trying to see what this is called. It doesn't have a number. Uh, I'm sorry. It doesn't have a... It's 310. It's in like a little lip balm like that. 
and it has a little dowel too how you get it out so I can open it I have stuff on my hands oh, okay I'm sorry there it goes it's really pretty plum color so I'll be wearing that this summer again the Revlon new luster really pretty color too I'm just showing you some of my favorite lip glosses that I'll, I'll pull throughout the um, summer the NYC All Natural in um, 553U. It's really pretty. And the, for pink, the Revlon Hot Pink. This is really pretty. You've seen this in a haul of mine. I love this stuff. So, yeah. The, and, oh, yeah. Um, I just bought this CoverGirl Outlast, and this was 50% off, too. The CoverGirl Outlast Smooth Wear in Spice Satin. And I've actually tried, I came home and tried this. This is gorgeous. And when you put it with the lip balm, it's off the chain. Okay? Love it. So I picked up that, too. So, yeah, that, that's my routine as far as makeup. Um, I stay away from foundations, cakey nasty powders and I try to just put a little bit of powder on a little bit of skin finish a little bit of bronzer and lip glosses I try to stay away from lipsticks too and light blushes so that's what I like to do in the summer now quickly scents scents are like a big deal for me like how you smell in the summer I notice I don't like to use a lot of perfume I'm not pulling for my perfume in the summertime I'm pulling for body sprays body mist anything that's going to make me feel like clean and refreshed and this is going to be weird yes i'm going to show you what type of deodorant i use i have been loving for this summer the lady speed stick fresh infusions in rain kissed water lily this stuff smells so good it makes you feel fresh and just clean you know and it smells really really good so this is what i've been pulling and as far as my body mist that i have been loving this summer um these come from walmart and cvs um, this one comes from Walmart. It's the Body Ecology. And this one is in brown sugar vanilla. This smells so good. Okay. It was like $4 at Walmart. Um, and this, this Film Inferno from Walmart. It's a sexy fragrance mist. It is hot. Love this. Got this from Walmart too for like $4. It smells really, really good. Um, and from CVS. Um, the Essence of Beauty Collection, the ones I'm in love with right now, is Japanese Garden Bodies Mist and the Tropical Papaya Body Mist. These two smell off the chain as well. So in the summertime, I'm really not wearing perfume a lot. I pull my body mist out, and um, that's what I've been wearing because I just love the way it makes me feel and the love of the way it makes me smell in the summer. I'm just different in the summer. I don't know if it's like a chemical thing for females or or what but in the summer I just don't like to feel confined as much as I do in the winter I like to feel fresh clean bare just surviving <laughs> in the summertime because it's so hot here um, and another thing I like to do is mist my face with the um, Mac fix plus if you feel like you just like Ugh, just don't feel right take this Go over your face. Oh, it makes you feel like alive and happy again. And I just love it. So those are some of the things that I wanted to share with you about summer. Also in the summer, you're going to be noticing me not wearing a lot of braid outs and um, curly do's uh, because I'm lazy. Not lazy in taking care of my hair, but as lazy as styling and manipulating it. So in the summer, I like to do protective styles. This is just a twist out that I just pushed up into a little ball i'll be wearing um buns i might get some um no i was gonna say braids but i doubt it and just just being tasha you know uh, in in the summer not just feeling so that you have to do so much stuff in the summer because it's just hot i don't want to do anything so i do the less is more in the summer for me less is more so that's my video hopefully after this video i'm going to do a skincare um, regimen for the summer for you guys um so if you watch this video please check out that video as well and that's it if you have any questions or comments please um let me know and i'll see you guys soon. bye princess